Welcome to the Crypto.com video series. In this series, we'll take a look at all products of the Crypto.com ecosystem, including Crypto.com wallet and Crypto.com card, decentralized ecosystem products, Crypto.com decentralized wallet, DeFi swap, and DeFi dashboard. Crypto.com Exchanger, Crypto.com NFT Marketplace, and more. A series of videos will be divided into sections, and all videos can be found in the playlist, a link to which we'll leave in the description. We'll start our acquaintance with the ecosystem of the company's main product, Centralized Crypto.com Wallet. It is the link to the rest of the ecosystem products, and with its help you can get access to almost all solutions that are provided by Crypto.com. At the moment, the wallet is presented only as a mobile device application. Crypto.com believes this makes interacting with cryptocurrencies as convenient as possible. For those who prefer to interact with cryptocurrency using a computer, Crypto.com has its own Crypto.com exchanger, which we'll talk about later in our video series. It has incorporated some of the functions of the wallet and may become a possible alternative. To start your interaction with Crypto.com wallet, download the wallet application to your mobile device based on iOS or Android. Download links can be found in the description. After installing and opening the application, you will be greeted with the following page. Before starting registration, you can enter the referral code, which will give you the opportunity to receive a bonus of $25. After reading some of the Crypto.com benefits, start the registration process. First, enter your email address and agree to the terms of use. Click continue. You will receive a code in your mail, a link clicking on which you can continue the registration process. Click anywhere on the screen and confirm your phone number by entering the code that will be sent to you via SMS. Again, by clicking anywhere on the screen, after accepting or denying the newsletter subscription, you can go to the verification process itself. Verification is necessary to work with the application. It is very simple and will not take much of your time. To start, click continue. Enter your first and last name and proceed to the next step. At this stage, you must select the document with which you want to be verified. The rule here is, your first and last name in Latin letters must be on the document. In most cases, it is the best to use a passport. If you don't have a passport, you can use your national ID or a driving license. For citizens and residents of the United States, verification is available only on a driver license or state-issued ID. Verification for residents of New York State is currently not available. For example, we'll choose a verification by driver's license. Next. You only need to align the edges of the frame with the corners of your document. The shutter will be released automatically when the system locks the correct position of the document in the frame. After scanning the front and the back faces of the document in this way, you will move on to the last stage of verification. Video selfies. You need to place your face exactly along the outlines of the frame and follow the green dot with your eyes without moving your head. Usually the verification takes place instantly, but it can take up to three working days. Wait for the corresponding letter by mail. To successfully and quickly pass the verification, it is enough to follow a few simple rules. First, the photo should not be blurry. Second, the edges of the document should not be bent, since it is at the edges of the document that the verification system determines the correct position of the document in space. Thirdly, the photo should not be overexposed or underexposed, there should be enough light. And last but not least, no external objects should be attached to the document, such as paper clips. If you have encountered an error or did not find your country of residence, during automatic verification you will be redirected to the home page where you will see a new field, having trouble. By clicking on capture manually, you will go to the manual verification, and here you also need to select the desired document for verification. The difference here is, is that you yourself need to press the shutter button when the document is in the correct position, or during selfie verification when you need to place your face in the frame. Manual verification is special because you need to take an additional photo which will show your face, the document with which you are being verified and a piece of paper with handwritten text, Crypto.com and today's date. Be careful, all the elements should be visible in the photo. After you make sure of this, submit your request for verification by clicking on Complete Submission. Verification usually does not take more than an hour, but can last up to 3 working days. After verification, you will need to set a password to enter the application. This action will not cause you any problems. Also, immediately after verification, we recommend you to additionally protect your account with two-factor authentication. You can do this by going into the settings, security settings, two-factor authentication settings, and by setting two-factor authentication, confirm this action by mail. 
There you can also set the anti-phishing code. It will be shown in emails from Crypto.com. So you can be sure that the letters that come with this code are really letters from Crypto.com and not from cyber criminals. After you set up additional protection for your account, you can proceed studying the functions of the application, which we'll do in the next videos. Subscribe to Crypto on Live Twitter and our YouTube channel. You will find all links in the description.